basically, I've been going for this perk for so, 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 so long. And I finally, I finally got it. I can't believe I just got it. I just got a precise four equilibrium too. I did. I, I'm so shocked that I got it because I have been trying to get this perk for so long. <gasps> I've done literally like 5,000 gizmo shells trying to get this. And I finally got it. And I'm putting it on my staff. And now all I need is my Aftershock 3. Yeah, boy. Yo, what is good? It's Toke. I'm super, super excited about this video. I've made a lot of really good progress. And I've been streaking like crazy just doing all these Telos kills. And it took me about a week to go through to find the time to edit all this. And... It, it was like, I think it was like 20, 25 hours of footage I had to go through and like clip and get all this put together. But I'm super excited. I got the P4E2. It was really late when I got it, so the audio on it is really, really quiet. But anyways, I got P4E2 finally after like 5,000 tries and I uh, put it on my staff. And so there's like a bunch of streaks I was doing at the time. I got a bun I've gotten a bunch of kills. I think I've done like t like since I got the pet, I've done like oh my gosh, like 200 and I think right now I'm at 250 kills since pet. So I'm getting better. I'm progressing. I've been watching a lot of streamers and stuff um trying to try and get better, you know. Uh But yeah, I feel like I'm progressing. I'm getting better at the boss and getting a lot better at higher in rages I think like I mean my highest still isn't that great I've been trying to push I've got a couple of videos of me pushing and like I'm learning from my mistakes and trying to figure out what what to do in bad situations and stuff and I'm trying to get way way better and I was playing around with this thing the the I thought it was funny the you can turn the streamline loop process off or whatever and it like rolls the drop and then you can see like what it rolls to so I, I don't know I was just so tired of like I don't know I just wanted to laugh so I was playing around with it it really it's just so stressful because like it'll land on like a staff or like a battle staff or something like right next to it. it's like the orb that I need I'm like oh my gosh I didn't get the orb and it just sometimes it sucks you know but you know I just can't give up dude and I gotta keep on going so, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I feel like I'm learning how to do all this better and learn how to put my videos together better. And there's a lot of crazy clips in here. So, let me know what you think. And also, like, if anybody... Oh, okay... Somebody told me to start using Volan instead, and like regular magic instead of uh, Ancients. So I've been doing that a lot lately. I've been using Vulnerability and it's like super hench, like it's been working great for me. Um, so yeah, I mean there's mistakes that I make, like timings off and like I do a Tsunami instead of a Kate and I feel like all this editing and stuff is going to make me a lot better, so that's cool. I'm excited about that. So that was, that was a streak that I lost. It was just like 10 kill streak or so. And then I was pushing Enraged, and I actually pushed my Enraged uh, on this one. It was like 5%, so I got up to 287%. What? And then huh. I'm pretty sure that I tried to push again, and I lost. Or I died. Oh, yeah, I died on P3. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I made a mistake and lost that streak. But anyways, afterwards, after I was trying to push in rage, like, a couple kills, someone asked me to go to Rot, so I ended up going to Rise of the Six for an hour with three of my friends, and I ended up making eight points, it was like 8.6 mil or so in an hour. And so, yeah, I just kind of, like, threw that in my drop tab, and 
later on I just went right back to Tellos. Yo. Yeah, so basically I just lost a streak and I can't believe I wasn't recording that. That sucks, man. Okay, so basically like I just got home from work and my streak was at about uh it was like a 180 like 7 kill streak or something. And I just made it all the way up to uh 222. So there it is. Uh it was like 6 mil or something. Maybe it went down to like 2.5 mil whatever. That sucks, man. It was a 9 kill streak or 10. I was on the 10th kill. Anyways, I I just panicked completely in P3. It was horrible. That was the worst P3 I think I've ever done. Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, so I think I'm going to do a couple uh, push kills for the rest of my hour. I have 42 minutes, so I'm going to do like two push kills or something. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. I think it's hilarious. I can't believe I wasn't recording. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys that the streak I just lost. And look at my set. Look at my sad face. Oh my gosh. I'm so sad. Rip. So sad. It is a sad, a sad day. Sad, sad day. Oh yeah, dude, so sad. Whoa, where the hell did you come from? <laughs> I thought that was funny because I was... I lost my streak and then I uh, was recording talking about it and uh, my friend Deontay scared the crap out of me. I didn't know I was in a Discord server and I didn't know that he was in there with me. So anyways, I tried to push and rage at Telos again. So I think I was just like really tired. Like sometimes when I'm like super tired after work, I just do terrible. But anyways, I think I ended up dying on P3. It wasn't, it was pretty bad we were talking about raids or something but anyways if you need a friends chat to go to raids with go to the friends chat that i just put on the screen really really smooth raids and that's usually what i use whenever i go they host them at like 1900 game time around then and they're really really smooth so shout out to them check them out so yeah i only included phase three because i wanted to show this death i thought it Suck. Shit, he's gonna do that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <gasps> yep, that killed me. I went to a BM. It was only a Beastmaster and Puzzle, but uh, here's the loot. Just like two mil worth of stuff. And so, anyway, someone needed a base, so I just died at Tello, so I wanted a small break. Anyway, so I went back to Telos again that night and started a new streak. So I started a new streak from 100. I've just been doing it straight from 100 every time because uh, it's not really worth going from zero unless you're going like way above like 500%. And I'm not good enough for that yet. So I'm going to show these couple of kills and then... I skipped it around, like I think one, like I stopped recording and I didn't mean to stop, so I forgot to start it back up. So I skipped it like half of this streak, and anyways, I got trolled by this, the loot roller over and over and over. It's just hilarious, like I'll loot and just be one away from the aura, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, not this one, but. I think one of these, it was like a staff on one side, and then a orb on the other side, and there was, uh, like, battle staffs in the middle. I'm like, dude, seriously? I'm like, what is that? Like, it's just such a letdown. But, I mean, you know, I just wanted to see what it would, what it would be if, like, I think it'd be cool to see a, oh yeah, it was a book and a staff. I think it'd be cool to see the like just like roll onto the orb and just like lose it that'd be super cool I like see I like one away from the orb and so honestly I, I feel like it's just kind of triggering so oh I did not realize that I didn't my preset didn't load my helmet my gloves and my boots and I just got destroyed like I signed on p3 made it through p3 somehow and made it all the way to p5 and I didn't even notice that I didn't have gloves, boots, or a helmet on until I was trying to find these minions and just getting like completely 
destroyed. And I should have caded. I probably could have gotten out of it if I would have caded. So, basically I've been doing a ton of Reaper assignments. Well, I mean, I've not been doing a ton. I've just, like, only been doing the ones I wanted. Or, like, whenever I get a Telos Reaper, I'll do it. Because it's a lot of points or whatever. So, I'm going to get my... I'm going to buy a Hydrix, basically, and uh, get my Death Touch bracelet back, because it's good for Telos, and I haven't had one since I started this rebuild series, so I'm going to get that back now. So, that's an accomplishment. Um, just thought I would include this in the video. going to buy the, whatever it's called... It's an Onyx bracelet. <clears throat> I don't remember which one it is, man, honestly. I guess this one. I'm not sure if this is right or not. So get a Hydrix bracelet or whatever and then add a Hydrix to it. I'm not super sure. But we'll see. Whatever. Let's roll the dice. I think. Well, okay. If this is 22 mil, how much is the Death Touch bracelet? I could just buy it, you know, instead of like making it. It's 24 mil, so honestly, like I'll take a 2 mil loss. So, I can sell the Hydrix that I just got. Uh, should I panic sell it? Fuck it. Panic sell. Ah, it's sold for regular, whatever. Alright, Death Touch bracelet. Let's go, boys. 25 mil. Bought instantly. Let's go. So, I got my Death Touch bracelet back for Tello, so that's f freaking radical. That's awesome. I really needed to do that. I've been putting it off for God knows how long, so. That's great. Okay, so I need to rearrange this. I'm so OCD about my tabs. can switch capes with all this stuff. OCD warning. Never. Okay, so there we have it. Okay, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go do Vindictive for a while and see if I can get lucky, get some drops, whatever. So I got my Death Touch bracelet. Um, my drop tab isn't looking super great. I did sell my spider leg because I needed the money really, really, really bad, so I sold it, and I also sold all my Telos loot, which ended up to be about 44 mil, and I bought Telos supplies. Basically, I've done like 300 kills. Uh, what is my kill count at? Let's see. It's at 613. My last drop, which was the pet, was at 369. So, that is like... God, I don't know. 613 minus 369. It's 244 kills with no black orb. So, I'm going to go try to get my um, Aftershocks back on my weapons. And maybe that'll help me, you know. Help me get some better kills. Better, better kill times. More DPS. You know, every little bit helps, so let's go. I'm gonna go do like an hour or so. I just wanted to include this. I bought the Death Touch bracelet. My tab is really not a ton at the moment. I'm not really sure what it is. I'll probably price check it at some point in this video after maybe a few hours of Vindicta. Uh, smash that like button, man. 
That really helps more than y'all know. It would help me a lot. I'd appreciate it. So, I've been doing a lot of Telos and like Reapers in between. I just did an hour of Vindicta and I'm price checking my tab after I sold it for 40 mil for supplies. I've gotten back like 26 mil, which isn't much. I've got 35 mil cash, but that's for like debts and supplies and stuff. And so my tab's up to 26 mil again. I just did an hour of Vindicta and it really wasn't that great. It was mediocre at best. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to price check the tab, but I'm very excited that I got the P4E2 because of all these tries that I've gone for it were just terrible and I'm so glad it's over with. Uh, I'm working on a few other things like getting quest items and stuff that I've been lazy about and not gotten. Um, let's see. And I've been working on ports a lot. Uh, trying to get better at it because if any of you guys have tips about ports please let me know because I'm so garbage at it like I am absolutely garbage at ports I need help 